Hey everyone, Paolo here, so welcome back to my channel. So on the last tutorial, we installed Postgres SQL on the Mac using the Postgres app. So on this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a graphical user interface as a client to connect to Postgres SQL. So you had a flavor on how to do it from the command line from my previous tutorial. Um, the command line could be intimidating for a, a lot of people. So there's a graphical user interface that you could use. So on the same website, postgresapp.com, uh, there's two uh, graphical clients that I like, recommend, the PG Admin 4 and the Postico. So the Postico are the same people who created the Postgres app. So uh, let's try that out. So if you go to the Postico website, it's a free product but it has limited uh, functionality. If you want the whole uh, functionality, you could purchase the product. So go to Postico, uh, this website, EGR apps at forward slash Postico. And from here, you could click on the download. So the limitation of this one, if I scroll down a little bit here, is you could only connect to five connections i'll talk about uh, connection and favorites later uh, only one single window per connection uh, there's no table filter and there is no time limit though that, which is good so i already have the file downloaded and you simply launch the app and when you first launch the app it would ask you for this one so we don't need to configure this for now i'm just going to delete this and just keep it blank now what I want to show is when I launch um, Postgres so this is what uh, let me close some window so this is what we had done last time where we installed Postgres and use this so if I go to the preference of Postgres um, you would see the option to change from terminal item to postico. So I initially had it on terminal, I switched it to postico. So I could now close this. And when I double click on the how to here, it would open that database inside um, postico, which is cool. So all the command lines that we did on um, the terminal, uh, it's now um, created here. So uh, the first, when you get greeted with this screen, uh, you'll get a SQL query here and some uh, default tables for building the schema for this how-to table. If you want to view all the database, you could click back here and you would be able to see the other databases here and then double click to open it. So let's go back to the how-to folder. Uh, we want to create a table. So click on this plus table here and you'll be greeted with this section. So here you could give your table a name. So let's give it a tutorial name and here you would need to create a column so column um, would require a type so all column has a data type so if you go to the Postgres documentation which I'll drop a link here it would define all the data types that you could create so for now I'm just gonna keep it simple so the type would be serial the default this is a default and the key would be the the ID would be the primary key and if we want to add another column just click on that and this one I'm gonna say name keep the type to text and you could also preview what this SQL will look like so it would say great table public tutorials this table with the ID of type serial name of type uh, text with the primary key of ID so if you're happy with that, you could click on save um, and then you could go back to your database here and you would see now that you have a table. So you could right click here and some options here. You could open the content, open the structure or open the DDL. So DDL is a data definition language. I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. So this is how that looks like. So that's a, and then the structure would be this one and the content would be uh, there's no content. So there's no records here. The good thing here is you could easily add uh, content so you could click on the plus row here or you could double click here and it would create a row for you so for here I'm gonna say um, give this a name of uh, how to install PostgreSQL and click on the plus row and I say how to 
install Postico and maybe another one and I say um, SQL basics cool and you could preview this and you would see this is what it's doing it's gonna insert those records and when you're, once you're happy you click on save and you could go back to your database again and uh, you could click on this SQL query and from here you could uh, load a query if you have a query that was shared to you or you could save a query that you write here or you execute it so I want to execute a query I'm gonna say select star from uh, tutorials I execute that you would see that it would determine results and I could toggle here that I have three results um, these are the results I could export this if I want as a CSV and all of that um, I could also filter this further like say rare name execute that and would say it would match that SQL there and here um, you could actually close this out and would prompt you to buy the license if you want you could say no and back on this section you would see that the favorite is now the local host that you connected so if you want to connect to a different database you could uh, manually do it here or and then I'll delete that or I'll open back my Postgres and let's try connecting to this template and from there you would see if I go back to the main view you would see that that connection with that so it just defaults to local host and that's the database name so you could rename that to say that's that and here I'll say this is actually oh sorry I should put this on the nickname not on the local host so this one retain as local host and do it that way cool so hope you like this tutorial um, stay tuned for more please subscribe to my youtube channel bye for now